Hey y'all. I'm out here doing some chores for my wife. She's got some crafting going on, so I'm painting up some wine bottles and some little knickknack boxes for her. Biggie. It didn't run off somewhere. So the video that about that this is about to be is gonna make some people mad. But it's my opinions, and, and as a citizen of the Republic, I can run my mouth like anybody else. So, Kyle Rittenhouse, the, the, the Kyle Rittenhouse case, is probably going to be one of the most famous court cases in American history for the next probably 40 years. The reason being for that is, in my opinion, is Kyle Rittenhouse was not put on trial. What was put on trial was the American right of self-defense, the use of a firearm. Now, I believe the boy's innocent. I believe that he's, he's innocent on all counts, and I believe the jury and their verdict was correct. What I don't believe is that he's a hero. Um... <clears throat> I believe he shouldn't have been there. Uh, if he was my youngin', I whooped his ass. I got a boy that's a little bit older than him. I whooped his ass if he was to do something like that. Um, Kyle Rittenhouse is just as much to blame as the rioters. Sorry, but that's the way I look at it. Um, when you have a situation like that and people call out for help, I understand. I, I, I got you. But in today's society, you are putting yourself at a huge ass risk when doing so. That's just my opinion. You may think I'm wrong, and that's absolutely awesome, man. I'm glad you do think I'm wrong. Um, a good case in point is kind of like the reversal of there was a case, the Arbor case in Georgia. Those three men were in the wrong. I think they were guilty. Um, they should have stayed with it at home, and they should have used that phone number, 911, and report that to the police what they thought, and let the police handle that. Um, the other thing is the, that, the, that I'm glad it showed was, based off of my time dealing with courtrooms, we got a big problem in this country when it comes to courts. And the problem is that the, the scales of justice, they're not balanced anymore. And the, the, that justice is blind, they ripped that veil right off that woman's face. Uh, we got some serious problems. And it's not defense or prosecution, it's both. Um, <clears throat> when you've made it to where all you want is a G or an NG on that disposition form, meaning guilty or not guilty, and you've turned an office of law into politics, we have huge problems. And if it's not addressed, it's going to get worse because there will be another Rittenhouse case. And when you have people like BLM, which is a which is a uh, domestic terrorist group, and yes, if you're a BLM, you're a domestic terrorist. That's my opinion. If you're Antifa, you're a domestic terrorist. There ain't no difference in them and the Ku Klux Klan. Uh, you don't like what I say? It's a free country. I'm gonna speak my mouth. I'm speak what I think. Um. Another thing, too, is that I find very interesting is that the pro-gun community is all about Rittenhouse. Like, you know, they even got these little patches about them now. Keep in mind that, that if you look at the Tucker Carlson interview, he was a Yang supporter. There ain't nothing wrong with that. You support who you want to support. But Yang was for gun control, and he still is. Yang was for people receiving a check just for being here. Not... For any other reason, we're just going to give we're just going to give you a check of a thousand dollars a month for 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 the rest of your life. Um, 
keep in mind that those kind of things. So, uh, you know, if that's what we, we boil down to, we got some really, 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 really serious problems in this country with, with court. You know, uh, Black Panthers. They should be treated like the Klan, but they're not. I don't know why, but they're not. Uh, they're out there at the courthouse in Georgia, armed to the teeth. In my opinion, law enforcement should have surrounded them and, and disarmed them. And if it got ugly, it got ugly. That's the only way we're gonna we're gonna get this back on track is sometimes you gotta get ugly. And as long as law enforcement is being hindered in doing the job that needs to be done, this is the way it is. Protesting, I'm all for, but riots, I am not. Um, and Rittenhouse was part of the riot that night. No more, no less. Um, I understand about protecting property all day long, but property, insurance pays for property. You know what I'm saying? Insurance pays property damage. I understand they're trying to protect their property. Um, but if if you got a, a liberal judicial system that's gonna charge you with first degree murder for protecting what is your property, your livelihood, then my fucking insurance can pay for it. You know what I mean? Um, another thing, and this is pretty sad to say, Rittenhouse is a young man. He's not a boy, he's a man. Oh man, that's bad. That's running. I have to go back over that. Rittenhouse is a young man. <clears throat> and it just goes to show that us older guys, we're sitting on the sideline not doing nothing. And what I mean by that is, you know, let's I think it's time we start using a little bit of common sense here and start fire start fighting fire with fire such as Maybe we need to start electing officials that have never been in politics, that is a strong Second Amendment supporter, that's strong on defense of a person's life and liberty, and get them in play. Put them in there. People like, you know, I know that, you know, Travis Haley, he, he probably doesn't want to be in politics, but we need people like him to do that. Chris Costa, we need people like Chris Costa to get in there and get political. If not, then we're going to have systematic, over and over and over again, people that don't know a butt stop from a muzzle break. And they're going to be the ones that are siding the fate of the next generation of firearm owners in this country. That has to be taken into account because that's what's going to happen. If we don't start doing that, there'll be another Cal Rittenhouse. You know, it's time for us, for us old guys to look at putting people in place politically to fight this mess about uh, you can't protect your property and you can't protect your life. That's what the whole Kyle Rittenhouse case was about. It was about, not Kyle Rittenhouse, but it was about the American having the right to defend his life. The absolute defense of life was put on trial and thank God that it was not guilty because if that had been the case if you ain't got a uh, if you're not paying for an attorney to look after your best interest you better start and start now you better get involved with a group that has a law firm that tackles Second Amendment issues, that tackles self-defense issues. You know, if you have to pay that kind of money, so be it, man. You know, you hear people all the time, you know, sell about three or four guns and go take a class. Fuck that. You better, you better go sell them three or four guns and go get you a a million dollar representation. Because uh, if you don't, you just hurt yourself. Um, We're no longer a blind society. You know what I mean? Justice is not 
blind anymore. And we're paying the price for it. We're paying a huge price for it. How is Kyle Rittenhouse going to live his life now? How is his family going to live his life? If you think BLM that doesn't have all that money to pay people to find him, you're crazy. If you think that they won't, you're crazy. You think Antifa wouldn't love to get a hold of him? So, you know, it's... They make it about things that's not real. They make it about race when it's not race. They make it about that so they can keep the stupid followers of this mess continue to do the one thing that they want, which is give me money, keep me alive, keep my $500 bills going, keep my multi-million dollar house going. Because that's what's happened to the members of the BLM. That's like the leadership. They have become multi-millionaires off of race. There's no difference in them to Klu Klux Klan, except one thing. In the height of the Klan, they had government officials. Well, BLM, at the height of the BLM, and I don't know when that will be, they already got government officials on their side. Okay? I mean, they got streets named after now, BLM. They got BLM Avenue in, or something like that in D.C. You got absolutely the reverse of racism in this country. And they call it not race. They call it reparations or some other damn thing. It's ridiculous. We're never going to be an American people as long as we continue doing this stuff. That's it. I mean, uh, I don't like to do a lot of these videos. Just going along in the tooth, I reckon. But uh, one that's on with the tooth and, and just speak my mind to it. But Kyle Rittenhouse, that boy should have never been there. Because if he hadn't been there, he would never have to worry about the possibility of losing his life forever in prison and putting his family through all this mess. That's my opinion. He ain't a hero. I'm glad he's found not innocent because he is innocent. But you got people to this day, if they could get their hands on him, they'd kill him. So, what do we come to? We've got to 